All right. So, as promised, uh, I actually kind of wanted to wait until tomorrow to do this, but the problem is, I said today in my videos, I would do this video today after Harmony Printer 1, uh, you know, launches. Oh, well, whatever. You know, I mean, again, there's probably not going to be too much to say simply because, I mean, at this point, you already have seen Printer Financial. It's still what I still consider to be currently the best performing Toon Fork uh, pretty much out there that I know of, right? Because it's the most consistent one. Even Peg Maker has fallen uh, horribly. Uh, I mean, they're pretty much near zero now. Like, I don't, I don't even understand it. Like, everything they're doing is, seems right. But uh, I guess something went wrong. And of course, you have Toon Finance, but Toon Finance is the alpha male in the space. And obviously, if you're going to be a Toon Fork, you're a Fork. You're not actually Toon, right? So this is like the best one out there, uh, still by far, right? Because of consistency, everything works. And of course, they're literally all over the place. So, you know, and they uh, told me in a DM that they're going to have the community vote on the next blockchain so i will take a look at that now it doesn't help that this is launching right in the middle of a crypto correction i guess you could say or mini correction because markets are not exactly doing so great right now yeah i mean at least stock markets are flat but it's and again it's mostly because of this right the bonds are Causing problem. Oh shit! I really don't want to be seeing this. Ten-year yield is already rising again. Yeah. So I haven't heard anything new from Greg, at least in regards to the ten-year yield. But this is actually what's causing. Where am I? This is actually what's causing the uh, the problems in crypto right now, right? Because this this is the actual free mark. This is the actual free market price of bonds debt. So when you go get a mortgage for a house, for example, they always reference the 10, 20, and 30 year debt. So this is where your interest rates kind of come from. The reason why the Federal Reserve interest rates are so important is because it ultimately determines what this is. So if the Federal Reserve rate is like 10%, well then the US 10 year treasury, which probably will never happen again, because that would just be completely devastating to the, everything. Right, if the Fed rate was like 10%, this would be, I don't know, 11, 12%, something like that. I don't know what the spread is, but it appears to be about 2.5%, right? 2.5% above the Fed rate. So I think they call that the prime rate or LIBOR rate or whatever. Oh, it's been a long time since I had to worry about those stupid terminologies. And of course, if the rates are that high, I mean, that's just going to absolutely destroy tech stocks. That's why tech goes down. And of course, cryptocurrencies. Because apparently rich people are buying cryptocurrencies using borrowed money. So when the cost of money borrowing goes up, they have to dump crypto to pay for and readjust their loan amounts so that they don't go bankrupt. So it's very annoying. It's very irritating. And that's why I'm, I'm still kind of breaking with Greg Manorino on this. I like, And I don't want to do that. That's why I'm 50-50 on whether when this whole thing implodes and these 10-year yields spike... I mean, Greg said everyone's going to jump into precious metals, which I believe will happen, and also cryptocurrencies, which I currently am not sure if that will happen. Because all I see so far is these stupid bond, U.S. bonds go up and this shit goes down usually. So uh, it's – I don't know. It's, it's hard to predict human behavior, all right? <clears throat> so, of course, Pritchard Financial is not immune to this, so that's why they're actually down. Uh, quite a bit. I mean, this this should be a lot higher. It should at least be a dollar twenty-eight, dollar thirty, a dollar forty. Probably no more than a dollar fifty, right? It doesn't need to be overvalued. It just needs to be fairly valued. But I mean, right now there's just just too much crap going on. So everyone's just like completely paranoid and running around with their heads cut off. So it is what it is. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> so that being said. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to enjoy any of my rewards because, like, I, it was at 96% daily APR, and then it just tanked immediately, like, 20%. Now, everyone has already kind of jumped into this, uh, into this project, so now it's just paying above 2%, which is basically what Binance Smart Chain was paying. So, 
Let's see. I guess if you really want those crazy high APRs, you're going to have to go to the ink shares. So, uh, but I mean, look at this. The TVL is $22 at 62 cents. It's like uh, everyone already kind of knows that the shares are just too risky, right? Especially when you're seeing something like this happen, right? Because they literally just launched. Like, uh, well, I mean, the reward pools went live a little less than two hours ago, 1 o'clock my time. It's 2.52 p.m. So, you know, was that 800? Now it's down to like $44.75. That's actually quite reasonable. So now that I'm actually seeing these numbers, I might have to bridge back over to buy on Smart Chain, which I really kind of don't want to do. So in this case, I actually took a look before I hit the record button. So let me see. So in this case, it looks like I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what I do, but in this case, I would probably have to sell my paper on Harmony One, convert it into one coin, then from one coin, I turn it for, into DAI stable coin, and I bridge it over using Synapse Protocol. I have, I've actually have not been using Xpollinate because they've been having a lot of like these really small, glitchy, annoying little things, and the fees are still kind of large anyway. So I'd rather just go with Synapse Protocol, pay a little extra money for like instant results, basically. A consistently instant results with no errors. And that's because X Polony apparently got bought by Connext or whatever they call themselves. So that's probably why. So in this case, because there's a three cent differential, I would probably have to dump here, which of course is going to be a pretty high, crazy price impact. Blah blah blah. I move all my money over to buy in Smart Chain, and then from there, you know, I just buy back up here, right, up to fifty percent because I need paper BNB. So of course I would create price. So basically what's going to happen is the price on this would go down to like 60 cents, maybe 58 cents, and this would go up to like 65 cents just because of me. And then of course everybody's going to jump in on my lunch and then, you know, arbitrage the whole shit anyway. So let's see. Actually, what is... Oh, I got to switch over here. Uh, yeah. So it's pretty much the same. What's interesting is the TVL on buying Smart Chain is a lot lower than the one you see here in Harmony. So it's kind of, that's kind of interesting. So I actually should be enjoying a much higher uh, rewards right now. But I guess everyone's just in here. So I don't know. Hopefully the, everybody will go away and I'll be able to enjoy this. Because I really don't want to like shift all this money again all around. I really don't actually like doing that. And of course you got your hybrid. So... I'm probably gonna have to ignore the ink paper. Wait, this is ink paper. Oh, this is the. Oh, oh, okay. They kind of swapped it around. Okay, I'll, so this is the actual shares. That was the hybrid. Okay. So, well, this is the same problem too. There's only twelve hours and fifty-three cents. Oh, believe it or not. Is this correct? Hold on a second. Everyone's in here, okay. There's no money in the shares. So 10 times this amount would be $117, which would drop the daily APR down to 2,380%. I might actually just buy some shares right now. I didn't actually realize, well, I'll wait till after this video is done. So I'm gonna actually buy the shares first, then upload the video. Of course, now all of you Pepe here is gonna copy me and then the APR is going to be shit, but yeah, well, let me see, well, I mean, here's the thing, I know that the price of, the... well, what's the price of ink shares on my smart chain, I just need a reference number here, $13.71, so this thing's going to go down 15, and third of 15, this thing is supposed to go down 66%, so can I farm back all of my money in time before this drops 66%? I mean, it might go a little lower if cryptocurrencies overall go lower, but when this when the rebound comes back, this will probably be, uh, you know, it'll obviously rebound back too. I think I don't know what the inherent value of this is. It should be around $16, $18, but there's just too much market distortion right now to really figure it out. So... Yeah, I could actually put like a like 
I could put like three hundred dollars into this and then just farm the hell out of it. And then I'll just per turn it back into paper. Yeah, I'm actually gonna buy the shares. I didn't actually realize because the because because this is pretty rare that I would do something like that. And the only reason why is because the share price itself as an absolute number is already pretty low. Even though, and on top of that, I also happen to know what its actual value is, which is around you know thirteen what thirteen seventy one whatever I was quoted by a smart chain. It's like that everywhere because everyone's gonna arbitrage this to the true intrinsic value, uh, free market value. So. If it, so if this thing goes down 66%, and that's only half of the half of the tokens, because right, it's, it's a liquidity pool, so I'm still having my other half as harmony. So I don't really lose 66%. Maybe I'll lose like 55, 50%. Maybe even maybe, well, let me see. How if I let's say I put a thousand dollars? I'm not gonna put in that much, obviously. But let's say I put in a thousand dollars. Maybe I would actually. The numbers I'm about to do make sense. So I put a thousand dollars in. Five hundred dollars is ink at forty-five, and the other five hundred is in harmony. So sixty-six. So my position would be worth about six hundred and fifty dollars or six hundred dollars. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually be. I'm actually uh, ca uh, causing a little more damage to my stack in that hypothetical. All right? Can I print back all that money in time um, with these current? Uh, Investment rates, yeah, I can easily do it. The problem is, if I just put in a hundred dollars, this thing is gonna already like tank. So I have to factor that in too. So, uh, you know, I mean, I really don't know how I'm supposed to write this because the the APR disparity is too large. So I'll probably write 2.2 percent a day to like 20. Uh, I don't know, because I actually want to keep it for myself too. So I'll probably just write like. I don't know, 100% daily, 200% daily APR. I mean, there's not really much more I could write, so... Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. I keep clicking the ink paper one. That's also another uh, option, too. I could do the ink paper. Well, actually, I don't know. Never mind. It's already lower than this one. So... I don't know. Is it worth it for me to try to gamble on this? I mean, this is crazy. Look how low this is. But I mean, I guess it's worth it because you're getting all the rewards from this. Or maybe there's some, maybe there's actually a problem with the pool. I guess I could check Twitter real quick. Uh, no, they look. Uh, there's a lot of paper being bridged. Uh, oh yeah, also I just seem a little uh, off because I'm actually starting to get drowsy because I just had Burger King a sure while ago and I think it's about to hit me. <laughs> so I kind of just get, uh, getting very sleepy here. Uh, NFTs, okay. Yeah, I don't see anything on their Twitter that says there's some kind of technical problem with the pools or anything. I mean, I don't know if they would talk about that on the Twitter. I mean, you have to go to Discord for that, but I'm just too lazy. Yeah. All right, so I'll probably put a position into, oh, that's right. I mean, you know, I kind of don't want to really remove my Binance Smart Chain video for Harmony all right, from the playlist because I'll have to add this one in. But, I mean, technically I'm invested in this one, so I don't know. I guess I'll just leave it for now, right? I'll just write, I'll just write in the description that I'm actually in this one. But I'm not going to change it because I'm just too lazy to change things around. Because really, just just pick whatever printer financial chain that you like and then just print, just buy it there. I mean, they're all essentially the same thing, ultimately. So it's just a matter of, you know, personal preference and how much of the gas fee you're willing to deal with, right? Because that question is only uh, relevant if you're going to go on AVAX or Kronos blockchain because they have high gas fees, right? And AVAX is supposed to be low... But obviously it's not because Krabata game keeps hogging up literally the entire effing network for themselves. So, yeah, I mean, I guess maybe this why. The, you know what, maybe I'll just let this go. Maybe I'll watch a little bit. Maybe I'll wait till later tonight, you know. I mean, the APR is going to go down, but it'll be... Oh, great. Did I screw this up? Yeah, I screwed this up. 
The APR will be, yeah, you totally screwed this up. Hold on. Uh, this is the paper printer. Okay. And I need the farm again. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide what to do, but <clears throat> if the APR is still like 10,000% a day and the share price is like $20, I would actually seriously consider taking down a large portion of my paper one position and put it into uh, the shares. Because then, because at that point, I kind of know that the price differential won't be nearly as severe. Because it'll just go from twenty dollars to like thirteen bucks, right? Thirteen seventy-one, whatever the price of the ink shares are. And in the meantime, I'm actually farming the hell out of that APR, right? Because everyone obviously is too scared to go into you know the share liquidity pools because you know you're going to get kind of wrecked there. So you know, I'll try it. I'll see what to do. So anyway, check out Printer Financial. Obviously, you don't have to worry about the smart APR system because it uses the advanced one, right? And their inflation rate, of course, is 2% or lower to start. And what's interesting is because everyone bridges over paper or or in some form, the inflation rate already, like, because, like, it ch just checks the total supply, it actually uh, hits its uh, thresholds a lot quicker. So that's actually a pretty nice, that's a pretty nice touch. It's a pretty nice touch. It is now $50. Okay. So, I don't know, maybe I will actually uh, break apart some uh, paper LP and buy some ink shares. Uh, this actually looks very attractive. So, yeah, because it sucks to get 2% 2 per, 2 right now in Harmony, because that's what I was getting on buying Smart Chain. But, you know, I'll take advantage of something like this. All right, so I'm drowsy. I think I'm about to fall asleep. I have to hope that I can at least upload the video for processing and the checks before I get knocked out. <laughs> so check out Printer Financial on Harmony One. For now, uh, I will be staying on this chain. I would like to go back to buy a smart chain. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to put add this video to the playlist. I'm going to leave it as Binance Smart Chain because if I switch back to Binance Smart Chain, I then have to go back to my YouTube playlist and then do this whole crap again, right? Like, well, it's not much work, but it's just a little annoying, you know? So I just leave it like this. Um, yeah, and I thought, I mean, I, I consider, I mean, these are the same projects. So, I mean, look at that. People are, yeah, people have figured it out. Hey, I should buy these shares. Though they might be doing it for the boardroom. Yeah, actually, people are LPing it already. Yeah, go figure. Well, I better, I better get going too, cause I need, I, cause I want some of this stuff too. Yeah, paper's doing pretty well. Perfect. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm, I actually bought you know a brand new Titano fork. I believe it's a pure Titano fork and not a Seifu fork. Um, actually, let me ask the Elite Discord. Okay. Uh. Also is so we're just testing it now on the Elite Discord. I mean, but it looks really, really solid. So I'm very excited to cover that tomorrow. Uh, holy crapo! Uh, someone bought. Really, it does not take much money to. Oh man, I actually do not like to see something like this uh, because that means the drop down is going to be a lot harsher. I mean, it does boot beef up the daily APR though, so that's nice. Um, ah huh, shit, this is really for five dollars or a little more than that. You can raise the price of ink shares by a lot. So maybe I should not be buying. Oh man, let me figure out what to do. I'll see you all tomorrow. Very exciting, and I still want to get some money out of this the new launch. Or maybe I don't actually do anything to be honest. If people are gonna buy the shares, then that's just gonna increase my paper one position anyway. Man, look at the twenty-one thousand AP. No, I, I you can't ignore this. I can't ignore this. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, and uh, check out Printer Financial. It's going to suck because we're all going to get in now, but 
hey, that's why you follow me, right? Because, you know, I get rich, then you get rich too. But, you know, just remember, I, you know, I get to go first, okay? I'm the alpha male dog in this little, little uh, space. And I need to assign orders here. Hold on, okay. Uh, my work is never done. Okay, so I'm going to go do this, and then I'm probably going to take a nap. I mean, I'm going to try not to take a nap because I'm getting too fat. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Oh, like, subscribe, share the video, blah, blah, blah. We're growing really nicely. Enjoy the rest of your day.